Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 4-34 that is taken from chapter number 4, Axial Load and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is if column AB is made from high strength pre-cost concrete and reinforced with 4 3 by 4 inch diameter A36 steel rods, determine the average normal stress developed in the concrete and in each rod. Set P is equal to 75 kips. So you can see this is a column AB that is composed of the cross section of the column is given as here that is 9 inch by 9 inch and there are 4 steel rods in that clear. So you have to find the average stress in this concrete and as well as average normal stress in this steel rod. The load P is given as 75 kilonewton. So let's start with the solution. So if I cut this uh, concrete rod over any length clear and draw the free body diagram. So it will be like this. Let me draw the free body diagram. This is the free body diagram. Clear. The load over here is P, which is 75. And that is 75 kip. Clear. And same here, we have 75 kip load. Now, you can see in reaction, you will be having a reaction force and you you can see that this load which is 75 and 75 that will be taken by this column a b and the column a b consists of concrete as well as a 36 steel rod clear so the load will be taken by by the concrete and steel rod so i will write first p concrete and this P steel. So total load will be equal to P concrete plus P steel. So we'll apply equation of equilibrium for finding this P concrete and P steel. So this is the equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. And you can see that since we have four concrete steels clear, uh, sorry, four concrete uh, 4 A36 steel rods. So we have this 4 times P steel. Clear? Okay. So sum of all forces in long y direction must be equal to 0. So minus 75 minus 75 plus P concrete plus 4 times steel will be equal to 0. So I will write it minus 75 minus 75 plus P concrete P concrete means load taken by the concrete plus four time load taken by the steel is equal to zero. So minus two times 75 plus P concrete plus four time P steel is equal to zero. Let this is your equation number one. We cannot find because there are two unknowns. Now, what we will do is that you can see due to this load, the, the this load, the compression or change in length in this column AB will be the same in concrete as well as in this four steel rod. So I will write compatibility equation. So what does compatibility equation tell us? Compatibility equation. So I will write since the steel bar, the steel bar and concrete, concrete are firmly bonded. Therefore, the deformation will be same, the deformation will be same so we will write 
deformation of concrete will be equal to deformation in steel rod so we know deformation is equal to p into l divided by ae so i will write p concrete into length of this concrete divided by area of concrete into modulus of elasticity of concrete and that will be again equal to p of steel into length of steel clear divided by area of steel into e of steel now p of concrete is not known so i will write p of concrete this column length is 10 feet so i will write 10 feet and we will convert into inch one inch is one feet is equal to 12 inch so 10 into 12 will convert it into 120 inch divide by area of the concrete into e of concrete similarly p of steel into length of e steel is also 10 feet so 10 into 12 will be 120 inch divided by area of steel into modulus of elasticity of steel now you can see we have been given the cross-sectional area of this plate that is 9 by 9 and there are four steel rods so this is 9 inch and this distance is also 9 inch clear so this area which is cross hash area if you remove the four steel so this is the area of the concrete area of concrete and area of concrete can be obtained by using area of concrete is equal to this total area which is 9 by 9 so 9 multiply by 9 minus the area of for this steel rod so 4 times area of this rod is pi by 4 into d square and diameter of each rod is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 square so this is the area of concrete and area of steel is equal to steel rod is equal to pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 3 by 4 whole square now what about e of concrete and e of steel so you can see we have the material so you will go to the end of the book and then in, in book you will go to the uh, property tables at the end average mechanical properties so this is for SI unit we will go to uh, US customary so you can see A36 is this one which is 29 into 10 to the power 3 KSI and high strength concrete so this is concrete and its high strength is uh, its uh, modulus of elasticity is 4.20 into 10 to the power 3 KSI you can see over here this is 10 raised to power 3 KSI so note down this value I will write E of concrete is 4.20 into 10 raised to power 3 KSI and the area e, e of steel was 29 into 10 raised to power 3 KSI now you have all the values you can just put it so we will get P of concrete into 120 divided by area of concrete is 9 multiplied by 9 minus 4 times pi by 4 into 3 by 4 whole square. This is area of concrete multiplied by E. So E is 4.20 into 10 to the power 3. And that will be equal to P of steel multiply by 120 divided by area of steel is pi by 4 d square and d is 3 by 4 into e which is 29 into 10 to the power 3 so when you calculate it you will get at at the end you will get p of concrete will be equal to 25.974 p of steel this is your equation number two now what we will do is that put equation two 
in equation number one clear equation number one is this one this one is the equation number one so when you will put it you will get p of steel will come out to be 5.0043 kip okay so when you get this value you put p steel in equation number two so you will get p of concrete which is 129.98 kips so it means that major load is taken by uh, or the the load that is taken by concrete is this one and the load that is taken by the steel is 53.04 kip 004 kips now what we have been asked we have been asked to find the average normal stress in concrete which is equal to load of the concrete divided by load taken by the concrete divided by area of concrete so 129.98 kip is the load and area is 9 multiplied by 9 minus 4 times pi by 4 pi by 4 into 3 by 4 square so when you solve this you will get it 1.64 ksi so this is the average normal stress that is taken by concrete is 1.64 ksi I. and the average normal stress that is taken by steel is equal to p of steel divided by area of steel and p of steel is 5.0043 kip divided by area which is equal to pi by 4 this is the average normal stress taken by each steel rod so 3 by 4 whole square and that is equal to 11.3 ksi so average normal stress in steel is equal to 11.3 ksi and that is the answer of our this question and this was all about this problem 4-34 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.